Right, in this video, video we're going to differentiate the square root of an x, i.e. the square root of x is a third. So we've got f of x is square root of x, and we're going to use from first principles. So f of x is the square root of x. From first principles, f dash of x is the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So it's going to be equal to the limit as h goes to zero f of x plus h is going to be the square root of x plus h, so remember your function notation, minus the square root of x all over h. Okay, so just writing that out again. Now then we're going to do something a bit strange. Normally we would rationalise the denominator, but this time we're going to actually rationalise the numerator. So if this is x plus h, a square root of x plus h minus the square root of x, then this becomes x plus h plus root of x over square root of x plus x plus h plus square root of x. Now, a plus b times a minus b is a squared minus b squared. We've got that situation here perhaps the other way around, but we've got this situation. So if we square x plus h, we get uh, square root of x plus h, we just get x plus h, and if we square the square root of x, we just get x. On the bottom, we're just going to get h times all of square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. Now we can see that x minus x will really cancel each other out. So we're left with the limit as h over h times the brackets of square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now, as this uh, h is not equal to zero, it's very, very close, very, very, very small, we can cancel out, so that, that cancels with that. And we're left with the limit of 1 over the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. Now we say h is very, very, very small, we're going to forget it. So we're going to have square root of x plus the square root of x on the bottom, so that gives me two lots of square root of x. So it gives me a final answer of 1 over 2 square root of x. So if we differ on the gradient function of the square root of x, and the process we do go from there to there is called differentiation, the answer is 1 over 2 root x. Remember, what you will find geometrically, that this is a, a formula for finding the gradient on this curve at any point. Okay, I hope you've understood this, I've, and I thank you very much for watching.